Hello there and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this Barcelona series. Um, as you can see, you might be a bit confused because there will have been a season review video come out um, and now we're back, kind of back in time a little bit. So let me explain. We, I've done four seasons at Barcelona and I am going to continue. We are continuing with Barcelona. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to quit Barcelona and we're going to we're going to split off as if we've hit a fork in the road and a, a kind of a sliding doors moment i guess you would say what would have happened if i carried on as barcelona manager after four league titles two or three copas del rey three champions league finals and finally lifting that trophy completing a treble um what would have happened if i'd stayed and what would have happened if i'd left and we're going to run those two saves concurrently um, so they will, but they will be they will be totally separate saves, but in this universe from this day onwards. Um, and yeah, it just see what happens. Uh, so it's it's going to be interesting. It's going to be confusing and complicated for me, for me, let alone for you. Um, so yeah, that's that's what we're going to do. So today um, we're going to quit. And we're going to apply for the job that made me think about doing this in the first place. And that is the job at uh, Juventus. I've also got Bayern Munich highlighted there. because you. So Juventus had Zinedine Zidane in charge and they sacked him. And I saw the news item pop up and I thought, ooh, that could be interesting. So I came into the job centre and we had a look. And I noticed the Bayern Munich job was available as well. I noticed there weren't any Premier League jobs available. Now, I don't really want to manage in the Premier League because I don't really enjoy managing in England, to be honest. If you watch my, my channel, uh, you'll know that. I've done, I think, two seasons with Huddersfield Town. Um, got relegated from the Premier League, got them straight back up. But that's the only English management I've done on the channel. I just don't enjoy it. It's Maybe it's because it's England and it's where I'm from. <laughs> and I just don't enjoy it. Maybe... German people don't like managing in Germany. I don't know. So I came into the job security screen and I wanted to see what other jobs were potentially available as well. Um, and there's not really anything that um, that really catches my eye. I mean, all the way down here now, we're already with Athletic Club here. We're now stable. Um, there are no Premier League managers under pressure, which is bizarre, really. Uh, so... I mean, maybe they've all done their their changes already. I mean, Dean Smith is still at Aston Villa. Wow. Gareth Southgate's at Arsenal. Simone Inzaghi at Bournemouth. Ernan Crespo at Brighton. Wow, there's some interesting ones. Sean Dyche is still at... Of course, Sean Dyche is still at Burnley. There are some interesting ones here, actually. Danny Cowley is in the Premier League with Norwich. Take that, Huddersfield fans. Um, Stuart Pearce at Nottingham Forest. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, so, yeah, what I thought I would do... Because I do also have three years left on my contract. So I figure that if I apply for a job while I'm still in the job, that might put clubs off. They might not pay the compensation. So if I resign, it, it, it helps on two fronts. One, obviously I'm unattached. There's no compensation to pay. And two, it opens up a huge job in Real, in Barcelona. You notice as well, Fatih Tarim was insecure at Real Madrid. And that might start a little domino effect and it might just um, cause other jobs to become available. Um, so we're going to do it. We're going to follow Messi and PK out of the door and we are going to resign. There we go. We have gone. We have done. Oh, wow. Some of my staff have gone as well. Um, start Max Exodus in the backroom team, a goalkeeping coach, my assistant manager. Ooh, ooh, he's Italian and he's not bad, you know. He isn't bad. Could bring him to Juve if we get that job in the end. Um, yeah, right. Um, so hopefully, who will take over? Thomas Tuchel, Jurgen Klopp. I thought Jurgen Klopp might do. Uh, Marcelo Gachado, still at River. Wow. Um, and then Fatih Tarim there is one of the favourites. Pep Guardiola at Atletico as well. Um, I did wonder if it might just bring Jurgen Klopp to, to Barcelona and free up a couple of other jobs. Uh, so, right, what we're going to do is I'm going to apply for Juve. The other thing as well, the reason I've, I've quit as well is I can now apply for the job and I can now declare interest in the job. 
without it, where is, where do I uh, de declare interest in the job without it upsetting my board at Barcelona. And I was kind of hoping it hasn't, I was kind of hoping it might have put me as favorite. Oh, this is going to go wrong, isn't it? I'm also going to apply for Bayern Munich and I will declare interest in that job as well and see if it has any impact there. No, nope, it's still Carlo Ancelotti his favourite. Oh God, this is going to go horribly wrong. If you're watching this, it hasn't gone horribly wrong. Um, oh God, has this gone wrong? Right, let's have a look then. So we'll start with Bayern at the Bundesliga. So they finished third. Um, they have, they've only won it twice in the four seasons that this save has been going. They finished third, but only three points off. Uh, off Wolfsburg who won it they've still got Robert Lewandowski they've still got Lucas Hernandez they do have Eduardo Camavinga who's a player that I have really watched in this save and I've really wanted to sign uh, who else have they got Joshua Kimmich is still there Benjamin Pavard David Alaba who's only 30 wow I thought he was older than that in real life Goretzka's still there it's a very very good team Philip Coutinho is still there uh, with a year left on his contract Lewandowski's got a year left Tostegen is there of course how is De Stegen not... Oh, he is. 42 appearances. He is the number one. Nicholas Sula, Cuisance, Fecundo, Calidio. My word, that's a blast from the past. How is he only 23? He has been around for 100 years. He looks, still looks good, doesn't he? Oh, if I got the Bayern job, he would be playing this season instead of Robert Lewandowski. And you've got Fieta Arp as well, who's a bit of a wonder kid, isn't he? Um, he looks decent as well. Um, I, I, I don't particularly want Bayern I'd rather have Juventus and there is a reason why I would rather have Juventus and it is because they have not won Serie A for three seasons so they have been toppled they have really well and truly been toppled both Milan clubs and Roma have won it um, so I, I really do fancy taking this one this is the one I want and I don't know if I'm going to get it and I'm a little bit worried now because I'm not the favourite. Um, they do have Luis Suarez. They do have Bruno Fernandes. He is at the club because um, we sold him last summer. They're getting Antoine Griezmann as well, of course, don't forget. Um, we sold him from Barcelona to Juventus. Um, so they're getting him. I think, I think they've got a few players out of contract as well because I did have a little look before I did this video. So yeah, Sergio Busquets is at the club, but he's out of contract. So if I got it, he would go. Luis Suarez would go. Um, and then we've got Francesco Acerbi, who's retiring. Um, so that's not an issue. Frees up a lot of wages already, doesn't it? Um, who have they got? So, oh, Bernadeschi, Victor Fischer. Wow, blast from the past as well. Ennis Bardi, De Shiglio, Chesney in goal. Very good keeper in the game. Gelson Martins. It's not looking at... It's, it, it doesn't look a bad squad. Um, finances are okay. I don't know what that means. I could go in and have a look. I've got the editor, but I'm not really first. I, I still want the job. I want this job more than anything. Right, I think what we'll do is we will end this here and we will fast forward to hopefully either applying for another job or getting an interview here. Just an update. It has been two weeks since I quit at Barcelona and we've not had an interview yet at either Juventus or Bayern. It's been two weeks. Um, the good news is though, that we are now Evans favorites for both jobs. So that is good. Um, rather strange one is Club Atletico Torque, well, Torque, Torque, uh, in Uruguay's Premier Division, Primera Division, have installed me as five to one on to get the job. How random is that? I'm a four and a half star manager. They're a two star club. I have absolutely no idea why this has come about. Um, I've distanced myself from the job in the media and they've only gone and given me an interview. This is bizarre. It really is bizarre. Should we, should we, shall we, for the laugh? Should we, should we, might as well, might we, we might as well do the interview. Um, I mean, I've flown all the way to Uruguay. I'm, I'm here now. I might as well do it. Um, 
I have some reservations regarding the fact you have never managed in this country. So why have you made me the favourite for the job then? Why am I your first choice? I speak Spanish, clearly. Uh, you have so far only managed one team. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? I've... Yeah, it's loyalty, isn't it? What is your reasoning behind dropping down to this level? Oh my God. I'm here for a laugh, mate. Can you explain why you appear to be in the running for a few jobs now? It's not. I'm not. I'm, on, I'm not talking to any of them. Uh, to broken promises to your players. Is there anything you have to say about that? Oh yeah. Do you know what? I'm going to do that. <laughs> let, do you know what? I'm, I have no intention of taking the job. So let, let's just yeah. Let's go and just absolutely mess this interview up. The club will be looking for a candidate capable of performing. To expectations always be more about the process than the result yeah all right the club is looking to hire a manager comfortable working no guess i'm in for a challenge then <laughs> that's very passive aggressive as part of the recruitment process we are willing to allow you to request changes to our current backroom staff um large budget to be in place Here is the club's current vision. Yeah, I don't care. I'm not even reading them. No expectations. No, no requests. Don't care. All right, let's exit. I'm set to take over now following the interview. If they offer me the job after that, I'd be absolutely... Well, I'd be... I'd feel sorry for them. They've only gone and offered at me. That's just ridiculous. They've gone and offered me the job. 2,000 a week. Two grand a week, uh, 90k transfer budget, 26k wage budget. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, I like a challenge, but I, this is ridiculous. It, it's 19 days now since I quit Barcelona, and I've still had no interview at Juve or Bayern. Um, I, yeah, I'm gonna obviously no. Um, it's just I, just I don't understand it. Jorge Sampaoli took the Gladbach job. He was in the running for one of these two jobs he was favorite for for the uh for the for the juve job i think wasn't he um let's just have a quick look here and see if anything else interesting is on the horizon um it at this point in the i have no idea in the uh barcelona series if we may have signed some players you never know what could be going on in that par parallel universe right now um no nothing else really there is, uh, is standing out at me. So I guess we carry on waiting. Finally, hallelujah, we have job interviews with Bayern Munich and RB Leipzig. Hmm. Right, well, we're going to go to the Bayern Munich. I just had a quick look at the Leipzig squad. They've still got Timo Werner. They've still got Deo Upamecano. They've still got Peter Galassi, who's a really good keeper. Um, I don't know if I want the Leipzig interview, though. But they, they're going to have money, aren't they? They are going to have money. I'm guessing Bayern do as well, to be fair. Yeah, they're rich. What's Leipzig? They're rich as well. They're gonna, they are going to have money. Right, let's get to the Bayern interview then with Karl-Heinz Rummenigge, legendary German striker. How would you overcome the relatively big obstacle of not speaking the language? I would be adept at learning it. I'm learning it in real life, so why not? I have some reservations regarding the fact that you have never managed in this country. Doesn't matter. Um, yep, yeah, same answer I gave to Talker. Um, have you, you, sorry, you have so far only managed one team. Again, whatever. Can you explain why you appear to be in running? Um, considering my options, you've been alleged to have broken pro... Oh, it's the same interview. Um... doesn't matter yeah again doesn't matter to you this club will be looking for a candidate capable of performing yeah I've, yeah got a good record of meeting competition expectations I'm not, I've, I've won trophies um how would you feel about working with Hassan Salia Midsic I wouldn't feel good about working with that and I would want him out but I'm happy to work with him but I will with a director of football but not that one because he's crap uh, we understand the importance of having the right backroom team. Um, 
I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll, I'll deal with that when I get to the club. Um, that all seems acceptable. And I look forward to taking the team to the title. 199 million. I'd have... I, uh, yeah, that's realistic. 5.1 million. It's very, very similar. Oh, clubs use coaching. Okay, fair enough. That's okay. Club stater. Oh, okay. Click the wrong bit there. Right, that's that one done. Am I going to take? I'll. I'm going to. I'll. I'll go to the interview with Leipzig. Why not? Don't need to show it because it's probably going to be exactly the same. Finally, it has been a month, four weeks, and a day. But finally, Juventus have offered me a job interview. But I'm not that optimistic looking at it. One of the reasons the board have decided to offer you an interview is because they feel you would be an acceptable fit for the club's ambitious vision. Mainly as a result of your notable experience of winning silverware. There are, however, concerns as to your suitability because of your reluctance towards signing high-profile players. Okay. Don't have an issue with that. I'm quite happy to do that. Um, Leipzig offered me the job. Funnily enough, and I've I've delayed it, so they will be coming back to me uh, on oh tomorrow in game as it goes. Bayern Munich job I didn't get. They went for Jesse Marsh from RB Salzburg, so that's interesting. I didn't get that one. So let's go and see what Juventus have to say with Signor Agnelli. Uh, don't there are some reservations that you've never managed. Um, I hope you'll give me a chance. I need to be careful with this interview because I want this. Uh, I've shown tremendous loyalty. What else is there? Um, yeah, I'm going to go with that top one still. Uh, it's not an unreasonable number of clubs. Oh, that was passive aggressive, wasn't it? I've moved on. Have moved on from breaking promises. I don't know what promises. Playing time, I guess. Yeah. How do you feel about? Oh, that's not a problem. How? Oh, Paratici. Oh, yeah, he's excellent. Absolutely no issues with working with him. As part of the recruitment process, um, I'd want some changes. Definitely, I have no problem. When, what do they want me to do? Five-year plan, challenge for Serie A. Don't forget, they haven't won it for three seasons. And then the end, in a couple of seasons' time, then, okay, fair enough. Yep, I'm happy with those proposals. I can't guarantee the league title, but I can realistically ex uh, do it. Proposed transfer budget of 159 million. Yep, that's fine. They've just sold a player, Maximilian Vobo, uh, for 60 million. I saw that news item come up. Six million wage budget. Hell yes. Um, I'm not going to do anything. Oh, maybe data analysis. Adequate. Don't want to do anything about the youth because I'm not sure they're really that bothered about that. Don't need to do the club stadium capacity, so that's fine. That's the end of the interview. And the, the one thing I did notice was I'd gone from evens to two to one odds on. Um, and I am five to one odds on for Leipzig. Um, I don't really want to take the Leipzig job. So it basically, I think it's going to be Juve or bust. Get in! There we go. The job offer is there. We are going to take charge of Juventus. Look at that, Sevilla have offered a job interview as well. Um, I did delay Leipzig for a second time, which they agreed to, but obviously now it's not going to be an issue because I am going to take the Juventus job. Um, I didn't actually really pay much attention to this. Uh, so they want to play entertaining football, that's fine. Sign players based in Italy, okay. And high reputation players, okay. 
And develop players using the club's youth system. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, minimum four-year contracts for four first-team players, that's all right. But yet we've got Antoine Griezmann now, and he's only one-year deal. Uh, right, start negotiations. They want to give me... See, what's the point? Why? Why? Why would I negotiate the wage? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, end of current season, they want to win silverware, get to the quarter-final of the Champions League, challenge for Serie A, and reach the cup final of the Italian Cup. So technically they want us to win the Italian Cup then, really, don't they? And then next season they want us to win Serie A. But I'm in it to win Serie A this season, and we are going to finalise it. Exit talks. Decline a job interview with Sevilla, obviously. Because, look, the Barcelona job's still available as well. We are manager of Juventus. The parallel universe has begun. The new series. I am really, really excited about this. So I've rejected the offer from Leipzig. Didn't get the Bayern job. Um, had other interviews. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, 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 really happy with this now. Um, get through all this. Who's we got? Victor Fischer, Bernadeschi, Antoine Griezmann, Pjanic, Bruno Fernandes. Brilliant. Brilliant. Andreas Christensen, Lissandro Martinez, Danilo, Chez. It's a really good squad. It's not going to take an awful lot. I mean, Victor Fischer, be a little bit dubious about relying on him, but he's not a bad player, is he? Again, former FM Wonder Kid. So they do want us to uh, obviously work within the wage budget, maintain the best, best youth system in the country, maintain the best youth system in the world. Well, that's down to you guys to keep the facilities up to date, isn't it? Uh, and have to win silverware. Bizarre. Have to win silverware, but only have to reach the quarterfinal of the Champions League and only have to challenge for Serie A. But I have to then favoured to reach the cup final. That's a bit of a contradiction, isn't it? Um, yes, definitely want a press conference and a report from the backroom staff. There we go. We are in. Right, we're going to. Um, we, we're not going to take a quick, a, a big look at the club now because I've got like six parts of this video now that I've got to edit together. Uh, so I don't actually know how long this is going to be. So apologies if it's run long. The one thing we will do is just have a quick look. We've got 160 million to spend. Oh, look at how much wage budget we've got. We've got 6.1 million, and we're only spending. 4 million of that. Wow. 90% of transfer revenue is retained. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, right. It is the 8th of July. It, it is the schedule out? It is. The schedule is out. Now, this is one little wrinkle I do need to mention. Um, the Barcelona fixtures in this part of the parallel universe, in this half, are probably not going to be the same as the ones I get. Because uh, with the Barcelona job that we've got, because they're two completely different saves in the same universe. Um, I, I really hope you're looking forward to this. I really, really do. The idea is going to be, just briefly, is that we will play a match with Barcelona and a match with Juventus on the same weekend. Um, so if I do, say, this Parma game on the 20th of August, we would also do whoever Barcelona are playing that weekend um, so that is the that is the plan going forward and I really really hope that you uh, you get on board with this and I really hope that you like it because as I say I just wanted to do something a little bit different now I just wanted to change it up a little bit there's going to be other stuff coming to the channel as well another FM20 save which I'm excited to do as well with a top flight club that I've wanted to manage for a long, long time. Um, and I've decided to just go for it for a little bit. Because like I say, we've got we've got another, what, four months or so? Three months, maybe? So why not? And there might be a couple of other games as well that come to the channel. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now. Apologies, the dog is going crazy. Time for me to go. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you soon in the Parallel Universe. Goodbye.